<laughs> yeah, so, yeah, the Knicks, of the, the what are you going to, like, Porzingis, you know, I was mad at Porzingis when he left New York, but he was right. He was right. And, you know, I mean, uh, no one's, uh, you know, obviously we miss the NBA at a whole, uh, as a whole, and, and the sports of it, but, but, you know, the Knicks are, I mean, they are just, they're just not good, and I don't see any light at the end of the tunnel. Obviously, right now, we just want to get back to some normalcy and have some basketball, but, uh, you know, the Knicks fans and, you know, everything that New York has been through and that it's still going through, everything we're going through right now, you know, uh, uh, the garden right there in Manhattan, you know, uh, hopefully uh, when we get back to playing basketball in the very, very near future, the fans deserve a good product on the floor because, uh, uh, you know, it'll mean so much to the city. You know, the New York sports teams have always come through with the Yankees after 9-11 and, you know, it just, it, you know, it's such a, it's such an escape. So when we get back to normalcy, you know, hopefully the Knicks can be, you know, competitive because, it, it, you know, it's going to, you know, the, the, the city of New York uh, needs it, you know, and will want it. So, uh, you know, hopefully we'll, they'll get it together. I don't, I don't know how. I don't have the answers how. Uh, but, but hopefully it can happen.